afternoon, everybody. It's been a while since we've had a chat. Um, so very much has happened since the last time we talked. Um, COVID happened and we stopped working. We came back to work. Things have been um, turned upside down for us in terms of how our work is typically done and, and the things that we have to do. And you've all done such a great job of um, coming together and making things work at your branch and doing a lot of difficult things that you never had to do before. And um, you've been serving our customers in an excellent manner, getting them the books and the materials that they need and allowing them some computer time. And we've had some great notes of thank you uh, sent to virtual library as well as the librarians have gotten great comments from the public and I know that they are all so very happy and supportive. Knowing we've had a few difficulties with patrons as well because there's a lot of new things for them too and everyone in the world has so much going on right now. I also just want to say to all of our staff members of color, I see you and I understand that this time coming to work and putting on a professional face is so very difficult when you are frustrated and angry and scared and wondering why the world hasn't changed yet. Why hasn't it been enough already? And um, I just want to say that I'm so sorry. I'm sorry um, for everything that's been going on, but I also am sorry that things haven't gotten better here at PCPL. We've um, been trying to make some changes over the past few years on how we manage recruitments and um, how we approach things from the library standpoint, making things better for staff, but I know it's not better yet. I also want to apologize for um, I know many of you feel like we didn't make a strong enough statement on our Facebook comment about Black Lives Matter and we're working on some stuff for the website. But what I want you to know is that it wasn't that I was afraid to say something. It's that I want us, when we say it, to mean it and I want there to be action. And I don't want to just put out a generic statement that doesn't show the heart of who we are and the changes that we want to make. So some things have happened um, in the past couple of weeks that I want you to know about. Um, Karen finalized our application for the Government Alliance on Race and Equity, which is um, ha becoming a member of that organization will give us a lot of resources that we'll be able to start looking at more of the institutional things in our organization that need to be changed so that um, we are being equitable in all the things that we do. Um, you know that we have our affinity teams who have done a lot of great work over the years. Kindred, Western Stiesis, Many Nations, Welcome to America. All of these groups have done wonderful things for and in the community and I'm so grateful for the work of these teams but that's not enough either. All of us, every single one of us, has to make the effort to make sure that every person who comes into our library feels welcomed, feels valued, and sees themselves in not only our collections but our staff and that they know that they are welcome here. There's a lot of been good work been going on with our Brian Dowd series. We're all learning a lot about um, compassion and dealing with people in de-escalating situations. I know it's a lot to learn, and I know that there seems to be so much going on right now. And in the midst of all of the themes that I just mentioned, each of you has your own individual things going on. There are people that are dealing with cancer, people that have had deaths in their family, um, people who can't see family members who um, are away. Um, you're having to deal with childcare issues. You're having to deal with 
all of those things, which all together brings a huge amount of stress to every single one of you. I want you to be sure that you're taking care of yourselves and that you're taking care of each other. And by that I mean, I know you don't want to call in sometimes if you're not feeling quite right because it might be short staffed and you don't want to leave your friends and coworkers without the help they need. But it's more important now than ever, for sure, if you're sick, stay home. Also, if you find yourself really in need of a day off, talk with your supervisor and figure out a day that you can take to give yourself that extra time. So, um, I really believe that sometimes a three-day weekend can work a miracle if you've been struggling with so many things, just having a little time away. Looking out for each other means when you see um, a coworker struggling with something with a customer, please help them. We have had two incidents where patrons have put their hands on staff members and that is not acceptable and we all need to be aware that these things are happening and be aware in our environment. I know now when you're having your mask on, sometimes I feel like when I have my mask on, I can't hear and I can't see, and I know it's, it's just a psychological thing. So try to be more aware, uh, look around more, notice what's happening with the customers and your, and your fellow staff members. And most of all, be kind to each other and realize that um, everybody's doing their best and sometimes just showing up to work is the best that we can do and we understand that and we're here to support you when you're finding that you're struggling please reach out your library service managers have our great resources karen and michelle and i are happy to come out and to help work through things that you um, might need to help with at your branch and please just know that you are appreciated and cared for and um, I know that we have not gotten everything right in this time of closing the library and reopening and we're making it up as we go uh, we're trying to pay attention to the CDC and to what the health department is telling us but we also are trying to really pay attention to those numbers and right now the COVID numbers in Arizona are still going up so we have to keep waiting. We have to just do what we're doing right now with um, holds pickup and limited computer access. And when we start to see that numbers are going down, then we can start to make decisions about um, allowing people to browse the stacks and to have more access to the collections. Everything we do has a, a cause and effect. Um, not allowing people in our building has caused there to be an astronomical number of holds, which you all know, you had to pull them and get them ready. Um, no joke, one of our libraries had at least 3,000 reserves ready to pick up this week. So that is huge. And um, I realize our work is, is very much changing. We've got some great teams that are starting to um, work on ideas for um, online programming. Um, Ken and Kendra are taking the lead with the teams on those things. Um, we've had a lot of really great things happen uh, in terms of just uh, helping our community with food um, and all the things that they need. So um, I just want to thank you all and let you know that I appreciate you and um, I'm here, and if you ever need to call me, please do so if you want to reach out and um, we could take a walk outside or we can have a team meeting and talk on screen. So um, I look forward to seeing you. I'm going to try to get out to some more branches next week and uh, look forward to seeing you in person. So stay healthy, enjoy your weekend, and get some rest. Do something good for yourself um, and be kind to each other.